Honorable Prime Minister will be arriving in less than 24 hours from now. And we are not only well prepared, but we are all looking forward to the visit. India has accomplished a lot in the climate change area. Honorable Prime Minister will be arriving in less than 24 hours from now. And we are not only well prepared, but we are all looking forward to the visit because this is a significant uh, occasion, COP28. Uh, last time he attended COP was in Glasgow. And uh, I think since then, India has accomplished a lot in the climate change area. And you would have seen that in the G20 leaders' uh, statement, uh, there was a substantial content on climate change. Sir, what according to you is the significance of UAE holding this conference in particular? If you can talk about that. I would say that uh, UAE has played a big role in uh, renewables. One of their major entities, Mazdar, has been in investing a lot of money and resources in promoting uh, renewables across the globe. In fact, uh, they have one of the largest solar uh, farms in the world. They're investing heavily in uh, green hydrogen. India and the UAE also have uh, an MOU on partnership in green hydrogen. So the kind of uh, enthusiasm there is here uh, in terms of renewables and sustainability is immense. And uh, they, have, they have also, you know, they've been trying to uh, make this COP as a COP of action. Actually, that is the slogan given by the president of COP, Dr. Sultan S. Jabbar, that this COP will be COP of action, where we have to move from assurances to practical progress on ground. Sir, how do you see India's role when it comes to climate change? Like we have various initiatives by the Prime Minister, like Lifestyle for Environment. We are also going for Green Hydrogen Hub. How do you see all this and how do you see India's role in this? Well, dealing with climate change is an area where uh, India stands apart. India has uh, walked the talk. India has actually done better than what commitments India has made. And the uh, Prime Minister uh, is very conscious about this whole issue of climate change and sustainability. He's taken the lead uh, in things like Mission Life, which was inaugurated last year with the United Nations Secretary General at Kewadia. And that is such a wonderful concept because uh, uh, to deal with climate change, government alone cannot make all the difference. We all have to participate in that process and we have to see how we can change our lifestyle in order to support environment. That is one lead. We have also taken a lead on green credits. In fact, in uh, the COP28 uh, program, uh, we are doing two uh, high-level events where uh, Honorable Prime Minister will be there himself. One is on the green credit initiative uh, with the UAE as a joint uh, partner. We are also doing a high-level event on lead IT with Sweden as a partner. So this shows, you know, this shows the kind of leadership role which we have been playing and which we uh, will continue playing in dealing with climate change. Sir, so this is Prime Minister, I think, uh, second visit in just few months. He visited in July. Mm. What will you say on that and how do you see the bilateral relationship between the two countries and how is this going to strengthen the ties? Well, bilateral relationship, uh, although it is a very historical relationship, it goes back centuries, but I can say that uh, it has never been as strong and as uh, as, you know, as firmly rooted in uh, so many areas, where there's people-to-people -people contact, trade, investments, education, health, uh, you name it, and, this, and it is there in this relationship. Prime Minister was here in July this year, but that was a bilateral visit. In fact, he was here in June last year as well. Uh, so leaders have been meeting very, very regularly because there's content, there's so much content in the relationship. In the last visit of Prime Minister, uh, we signed an MOU to establish a campus of IIT Delhi in Abu Dhabi. We also uh, signed another uh, MOU on uh, linking our, uh, our uh, messaging systems. Our, you know, and very significantly, we signed an agreement on settling trade uh, in local currencies, the rupee and the dirham. And also SEPA. Yes, SEPA was signed last year in February. And we can also already see the good results. Last year, uh, trade shot up by about 16%. And I think SIPA has a big role to play in that.